A crime that happens in seconds can cause weeks of frustration and a lot of money. That's why the Minnesota Department of Commerce is now partnering with local police departments and auto shops to fight catalytic converter thefts. Fox 9's Bab Santos joins us live after going to the event and speaking with one of the countless victims. Babs? Yeah, Karen, this problem has become very serious in the last few years, and now police in Anoka County estimate on any night in the metro, between 60 and 100 cars are having their catalytic converters stolen. It's just kind of hard to predict when these types of things um, are going to happen. Last Thursday in St. Louis Park, I mean, my adrenaline was just going. Anne Marie Raker caught a thief in the act halfway through sign off her car's catalytic converter. It sounded horrible. Like it sounded like my car was dying. In less than 30 seconds, thieves around the metro are making off with hundreds of dollars in valuable metals. In his 30 years, Coon Rapids Police Detective Chad Duxon has never been this busy. We're on track to have possibly 2,000 thefts in the county this year alone. It's a crime that can leave drivers without a car for months as they wait for replacement parts. These catalytic converter thefts are sweeping the state. They're happening at an incredible rate. This is what a car will sound like afterwards. Over the weekend at Carlson Toyota, mechanics worked to prevent the crime for two dozen drivers in Coon Rapids. Every car chosen had already had a catalytic converter stolen in the past. Saturday's work comes after a partnership between the Department of Commerce and local police departments and car dealerships. To make thieves think twice, they're tagging catalytic converters with these labels, a game changer that allows the authorities to track converters and charge thieves with a felony. And the important thing is it's, it's not like the solution to the problem, but it's a great step in the right direction. To make events like this one today possible, the Commerce Department was allocated $400,000 by our state legislature, and they plan to host more of these events in the near future. Karen? All right, Babs, thank you.